for this video the 25mm 96 inch long barrel is shown mounted on the cannon. The air cannon used to be built on this old wooden base, but about a week ago I decided it was time for an upgrade. The new version of the air cannon still uses the CO2 tank, but I've built everything into an aluminum extrusion housing, and it looks much better and is a lot more solid than it's ever been. The barrel is well supported. With two supports. And just like before, I can use different caliber barrels with it just by threading the appropriate barrel into place. As you can see, it offers breech loading for normal projectiles. Longer things like darts and glow sticks still have to be muzzle loaded. The firing mechanism is still a one inch ball valve actuated by a spring. Here we'll load a 2613 grain test slug for our first firing. The target is a fire log about 14 inches in diameter. Firing pressure for this first test shot is 300 psi. Projectile is a lead slug weighing 2613 grains. And fire! Second test shot of the newly built air cannon. Target is still the 14 inch diameter fire log. Ammo is the 2613 grain lead slug. Firing pressure this time is 400 psi. And fire! Third test shot, ammo is still the 2613 grain lead slug. Pressure will be 500 psi this time. Target is still, well, what's left of the 14 inch diameter hardwood fire log. I actually split a piece out of it with the 400 pound shot. Let's see what 500 pounds does. 500 psi and fire! This is the slug after three firings. It's in perfect condition and ready for plenty more. This little rubber ball weighs 114 grains and fits in the barrel okay with a little toilet paper around it. Let's see what it'll do, just for fun. Well, the 114 grain little rubber ball is wrapped in a piece of toilet paper and loaded in the 25 millimeter barrel. Will fire at 300 psi. Never fired around this light out of this barrel, so let's give it a try. 
and see what it does. 300 PSI and fire.